Hello, welcome to Prejim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 33, Abstract Classes versus Interfaces. In this session, we'll learn the differences between abstract classes and interfaces. In fact, there are several similarities between abstract classes and interfaces. Both of them are incomplete. You cannot create an instance of an abstract class or, a, or an interface. Both of them can only act as base types. However, there are several differences between abstract classes and interfaces. In fact, this is one of the very most inter important interview questions. Okay, now let's look at the differences. So the first and foremost important difference is that an abstract class can have implementation for some of its members, but the interface can't have implementation for any of its members. You know, if I create an abstract class, abstract class, let's say, customer when I say this is an abstract class and if I'm going to have let's say print method public void print now I need not mark this as abstract I still can go ahead and have an implementation for this method it's perfectly legal in an abstract class so if we go ahead and build that it, it builds successfully but whereas on the other hand if I'm going to have an interface so instead of abstract class, we'll say interface, and let's call this iCustomer. Okay, since this is an interface, it cannot have implementation for any of its members. But if you look at here, we have an implementation for the print method, and if I try to go ahead and build that, we get a compiler warning. You know, the modifier public is not valid for this item. Obviously, that's another important difference to keep in mind, you know, between abstract classes and interfaces. An interface members are public by default, and they can't have access modifier, whereas abstract class members can have access modifiers. Okay, and in fact, an abs an abstract class member is private by default. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right. So now if we go ahead and build that, we will get a compiler warning saving that iCustomer.print interface members cannot have definition, cannot have implementation. Okay. So we have seen that you know, abstract classes can have implementation for some of its members, but the interface can't have implementation for any of its members. And interfaces cannot have fields, whereas an abstract class can have fields. Okay. So if you look at this interface, so we know that we cannot have an implementation. So let's get rid of that. And if you look at this, if I try to have a field, let's say, for example, int ID. And if I try to build that, we get a compiler error. Interfaces cannot contain fields. But whereas, on the other hand, an abstract class can have a field. So for int ID, and if I go ahead and build that, it will build successfully. Okay, build succeeded. So an abstract class can have fields, but whereas an interface cannot have fields at all. An inherit an interface can inherit from another interface only and cannot inherit from an abstract class, whereas an abstract class can inherit from another abstract class or another interface. So if I have an interface that can inherit from another interface only. It cannot inherit from an abstract class or a non-abstract class. But whereas an abstract class can inherit from another abstract class or from another interface. Okay, that's another important difference between abstract classes and interfaces. A class can inherit from multiple interfaces at the same time, whereas a class cannot inherit from multiple classes at the same time. We understood that we understood this in inheritance session. Okay, we know that classes does not support multiple class inheritance, but they do support multiple interface inheritance. So it's possible for a class to inherit from multiple interfaces at the same time, but it cannot inherit from multiple abstract classes at the same time. Okay, and there is a reason why you know we don't support multiple class inheritance in .NET. Okay, and we will actually talk about the problems of multiple class inheritance in a later session. Okay, so this chapter is to focus the differences on interfaces and abstract classes, so let's concentrate on that.
And we have also seen that abstract class members can have access modifiers, whereas interface members cannot have access modifiers. On this slide, you can see some resources for ASP.NET and C-Sharp interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.